What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I've got a crazy comeback in this gameplay for you guys and I'm sorry for not uploading for a week, I've just been really busy with graduation stuff and in this gameplay I was playing twos with Anthony and we were going up against a slashing post scorer who was at point guard and a shot creating stretch four. So these guys records aren't amazing but the thing is they have the post score at point guard so that's what's going to make this game really hard for us. To start the game off the post score was trying to post up on Anthony and get the stretch wide open but luckily for us he did end up missing the shot because he did take it from too deep and the one thing about stretch bigs this year is that we all know they're a little bit overpowered and that is bad but that makes a lot of trash people or people that can't time their jump shots they end up making stretch bigs which is good because it makes it much easier to guard when the stretch can't time their shot. Right here Anthony tried to take a layup but 2k did end up putting him in some fadeaway animation I don't know why and right here this post score is going to take a heavily contested shot but the stretch big does end up getting the rebound so they're going to get one more chance on offense. I let him shoot the mid range he does end up breaking and luckily we do get the ball back so right here I'm going to take it back. He's not respecting my jump shot, so I'm going to pull a mid-range, get a full bar. I do end up breaking it, but luckily Anthony somehow gets the rebound over both defenders. Don't know how. Right here, I'm going to end up posting up, pass out to Anthony. He's going to fake the layup, pass out to me, and I'm going to green the three. So we do take the lead, three to two right here. I'm going to post up, hit this guy with a post hop shot. Unfortunately, I had bad timing on it, so I did end up missing. They're going to get the ball back. The stretch big is going to pull up for an easy wide open mid range shot, he's going to green it. And right here Anthony and I could not switch in time. He does end up playing good defense on this post score but the post score ended up getting the rebound and getting an easy layup to fall. So they're up 6-3 to three at this point. The stretch big takes another shot and somehow misses an open shot. And I really don't understand how stretches miss so many open shots because they have a bunch of shooting badges, they have a high 3 pointer. And on my post score, I have a 64 three-pointer, and I only have two shooting badges, mid-range deadeye and pick and popper, which I don't really use when I do catch and shoot shots or corner shots or stuff like that. And going back to the gameplay, this post score ended up scoring twice on me really easily, and then he hits this heavily contested shot in takeover. He took a fade right here. I left him open because I was trying to guard more in the paint. The stretch big finally does hit a shot, and I left this post score open. He's gonna score. They're up 20 to 3. He still has takeover, and he misses a lightly contested shot. So they have 20, and we have 3. So right here, we're just trying to come back, not turn the ball over at all. So Anthony's gonna give the ball to me. I'm gonna post up, try to get into the paint. This guy's kind of playing back on me. I do take a lightly contested shot, but I do somehow drain it. Right here, I decided to take the post score into the low post. Take a post hop shot, another lightly contested is going to fall, and I'm right next to takeover. So right here, Anthony's going to drive in, he's going to get an easy dunk, and right here it's looking like we have a chance, because I'm right next to takeover. So right here, Anthony's going to give me the ball, I'm posting up, trying to get takeover. I do get a bad animation, but the defender is to the side of me, so I did end up making the shot. Right here, I get another bad animation, I don't know why it made me take a fade and not a layup. But anyway, right here I'm going to fake both of them out, pass out to Anthony in the corner, he's going to hit the shot, and it's 20-16, to 16, so the game is super close, right here Anthony's going to hit them with a backdoor cut. Once again, the defense does double team, so I passed out to Anthony, he's going to green the three, and we do take the lead, and I'm going to let you guys listen to the live com for the last play. Oh, back? Game. Let's go green, yeah, you choked, you choked, 20-23, to 23. imagine choking, imagine choking. Let's go. Hey, 200 wins. To start off game two, both defenders decided to guard me when I didn't even have the ball, and I have no idea why, but anyway, we're up two to zero right here. This guy cannot play defense at all right here. I'm just gonna hop step into the paint, get him jumping twice, get an easy dunk, and if you take a look at the score, they kind of scored 10 points. Don't ask me how that happened, but anyway, we're gonna get the ball back right here. I'm gonna take it back to the three, drive right past this guy. Don't know what he's doing, but his defense is non-existent. I'm gonna get an easy dunk. Next play, Anthony's wide open on the three. I'm going to hit him. He's going to green the shot. And at this point, we're only down by one. So right here, I'm going to drive past this guy, posterize both these guys with the 360. Don't know why they're not guarding me, but I'm going to get this guy jumping, go right past him for the easy dunk. And this whole game, these guys were not playing defense right here. I almost have team takeover at this point. This guy's not guarding me. I am going to pull a three, and unfortunately, I missed time it. So I do miss all my takeover, but that's okay because... 
After these guys did score 10 points, they were pretty easy to stop. Right here, I let this guy get an open layup, but I did end up almost getting the steal there. Anthony gets the steal. He passes to me. I'm going to fake both of the defenders out, get Anthony on the top of the key for a wide open three. And just like that, we only need one more three to win. So this guy does not want to guard me. I'm going to pull up for a deep mid-range, green the shot. And after I shot that one three-pointer that I missed where it made me lose all my takeover, these guys decided not to guard me. Right here, as you can see, they're not guarding me again. I'm going to green a three from the wing and finish with 15 points. So in game three, Anthony's going to start it off with an easy layup. The guy got a side contest, but that wasn't enough. Right here, he's going to hand it off to me. I'm going to get an easy wide open dunk. And towards the beginning of this game, these guys were allowing so many layups and dunks. As you can see, Anthony gets a wide open layup. And in this very next play, I'm going to post speed boost past this guy and get an open dunk. So we've only taken layups and dunks all game. But we're going to change that right here. I'm going to shoot a three. Bad release, but it still goes in. Right here, Anthony's going to get left wide open in the corner. He's going to green it. And that shot gave us both takeover. So I want you guys to watch this clip right here. I'm going to hit this guy with a between the legs behind the back, another behind the back. Then I'm going to hit him with a between the legs cross snatch back break his ankles green the shot these guys could not hold us right here this guy's gonna leave me open on the three bad release and i do hit it and this game's kind of weird because i've been hitting some non full bar shots but some of the full bars that i do get missed so i don't really understand the consistency with full bars but anyway in game number four you can see who's pulling up on us we got randy and Jaden. If you guys are new to the channel, I play a lot of 2K with them. They decided to pull up on me and Anthony, and I think they instantly regretted pulling up on us because to start the game, I'm gonna give the ball to Anthony. He's gonna fake the drive and then pull an open mid range, and you know that's cash. He's a sharpshooting shot creator. He can hit open shot, taking it moving shots. Right here, Jaden can't hold me. I'm gonna get him jumping. Just like that, it's four to zero. But the one thing about this game is that we could not turn the ball over because low-key anthony cannot guard randy but anyway i'm gonna drive past Jaden, try to get him jumping with the hop and right here i tried to take a pump fake but it gave me a no bar and i somehow made it i really don't understand why no bars go in if the bar is not full the shot should definitely not go in but that's whatever right here randy and Jaden are gonna run a nice give and go to get randy open for the layup and they did end up turning the ball over luckily for us Anthony's gonna give the ball back to me. I'm gonna post speed boost past Jaden and I'm gonna dunk on Jaden and Randy. So right here, we're up four to eight. Everything's looking good. I'm gonna drive past Jaden once again, get my takeover. And right here, Randy gets a nice steal. I'm surprised I turned it over. I thought I would recover it. Right here, Jaden's gonna drive in, which was a very good idea because it gets Randy wide open for a three. He's gonna hit it. And at this point, they're only down by three. We really don't want them to tie the game. Right here, Anthony and I had a miscommunication, but luckily Randy did miss the shot. So we're still up, we got the ball back, and I still have takeover. So right here, I'm trying to break Jaden's ankles, but he is playing back on me. Anthony's going to get left wide open. I should have passed it there, but I didn't. But he did end up getting a nice cut. He's going to pass out, but Randy deflects the pass. Jaden gets the ball, and we were worried at this point because we turned it over about two or three times already. So as long as they hit their shots, they can win the game. And right here, Randy tries to drive past Anthony. He doesn't get a good animation, but he does do a spin layup to get right past him and score the ball. So he did end up getting takeover from that play. And the bad thing is, I can't help because I am on Jaden. He's on a pure stretch big. As you can see, Randy's greening the shot right here. All we have to do is stop Randy, get the ball back, and win the game. Right here, he's going to drive right past Anthony, get an easy dunk. We got to make him take jump shots instead of dunks. But that wasn't really working. I tried to bait him right there, but he did not pass the ball. Luckily, he did end up missing a jump shot, turning the ball over. I dot Anthony. He's going to drain the three. And in this next play, he's going to drive right past Randy because he got stuck on Jaden. So we're only down by one, and Anthony is dominating right here. He's going to pass to me. I fake out Jaden, get Anthony wide open on the top of the key, and once again, he's going to hit the shot. So early in the game, I was going off. Now Anthony's going off. Right here, I'm going to fake Jaden out, drive into the paint, hit Anthony, who has takeover. He does end up missing the shot. Shot, but luckily I do get the rebound and right here watch what he does he's gonna back up to the three start to drive in he backs up once again and he's gonna pull the shot in Randy's face and he is gonna make it for the game in game number five which will be the final game we went up against a play sharp and a lockdown defender as you can see this play sharp is gonna start the game off by ripping Anthony and these guys records weren't that good especially the play sharp it was kind of bad but he was pretty good at dribbling and the lockdown defender has 5,000 wins so right here to start the game off I wanted to test his jump shot out luckily he did miss I'm going to get the rebound. I tried to drive past him, but he does get a good defensive animation, and then he did decide to foul. So all I have to do to score on this lock is get good animations like this hop step into the paint. Right here, I didn't want to go inside, get any body contact, so I did take a post hop shot, get it to fall. And that's basically how I create space against lockdown defenders. I try to do a bunch of hop steps, 
post hop shots, post fades, instead of drop steps and post spins. Because when I do post spins and drop steps, they get really good defensive animations and I can't really create a shot. So when I'm playing lockdowns, I gotta force myself inside like this, get easy dunks, easy layups. And I want you guys to watch this play right here. As you can see by the shot clock, there are only four seconds left. Anthony's gonna pass, the pass gets tipped, and I somehow green that shot. I have no idea how I greened it. If I was a sharpshooter, I could maybe see me greening that. But as a post scorer, no idea how I green that. Right here, I'm going to take another post hop shot. He does lightly contest it, but I do end up hitting it. I get takeover. And right here, the lock doesn't even put his hands up. So I'm going to get an easy shot. He only gets lightly contested. And in these next few plays, I'm just going to get low into the post, body him out of the way, get some easy contact layups. And they need to tone down post scoring takeover next year because post scoring does take a lot of skill but once you do get takeover it takes little to no skill because you can just pump fake until you shove people out of the way and you can make heavily contested shots even on lockdowns but anyway that's gonna be it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been king josh and i'm out peace